college just walking through the library and I didn't know who this photographer was with this really beautiful sort of, again, surreal uh, use of black and white when she was experimenting. Uh, documentary photographs were really so unique in terms of their intent and their sort of unfolding of her own life when she chose to do self-portraiture. Her images bore right into the specificity of the person, but without ever removing the person's mystery. The person's mystery is maintained in her photos. And, and that's a very unique thing to be able to do. When I think of the history of photography and great photographers, you think of them as taking images. She really has a unique controlling. She is the greatest Black American photographer. It's like her style is just so unique. She uses collage techniques, painting, and in-camera effects that elevate her prints to a surreal form of documentation of effective realities beneath the surface of the real that there is such a thing. And I believe this is a space of a true artist. And after 50 years of practice, I believe artists such as being with vision should be rewarded. Me takes photos of people in a way that both captures something fundamental about them, but at the same time allows them a kind of um, fluidity in the face of being captured by the camera. Or there's her style or her technique sort of interacts with the subject. But Ming is one of the unique photographers whose photos display a very pronounced and high level of discrepancy. You are a visionary and you have changed us as we think about photography and the images that women have made in the 1970s to the day through today. And as a changing, as you have changed us in the way that you've made images about music, about family, about the everyday experience of beauty, you have encoded messages in your work. Uh, thanks for preserving your photographs and continuing to share your work. I am honored that the Lucy Foundation is, is honoring you today. Thank you, Ming Smith, and thank you, Lucy Foundation.